Hello students, I am Lakshmi and I am your tutor for today. Before we begin our session for today, I am thirsty and I would like to have a sip of water. Water, so important. Well, since it's so important, I thought let's learn a bit more about water. Water that we drink is water in its liquid form. It flows when we pour it from one container to the other. What happens to water when we cool it? Well, when we cool water, it becomes ice. Ice is water in its solid form. You must have also seen your mother boiling water to make tea. And what happens when she boils water? Well, we see steam coming out. This is water in its gas form. Can you see the steam coming out? This is water vapor, water in its gas form. Now, let's see water. Does it have any color? No, it doesn't have any color. Then, why is it so that whenever we draw a scene, we show water as blue? Have you ever wondered why? Because the sky is blue. And when the reflection of the sky falls on water, it makes it look blue. Now I'm going to show you what happens when we add some color to water. Now I have three glasses in which I have put little water. Now we can see that water has no color. What happens when I add pink color to this first glass? Did you see that the water became pink? Now let me take some other color and this is purple. Let me add this purple color to the second glass. Did you see? Now the water has become purple. Let me take orange color and use it for the third glass and look at this. Now this has become orange. So water earlier had no color. When we mix pink color to water, it became pink. When we added purple, it became purple. When we added orange color, it became orange. So we say that water has no color of its own. Whenever we mix any color, it becomes that color. So we conclude that water has no color of its own. Whenever we add any color, it becomes that color. Now as we saw that water has no color, now can you see this bottle, it's blue in color? The bottle is blue and when you see water, water also looks blue. In this purple bottle, it looks like purple. And in this green bottle, water looks green. And have a look at this bottle, which is white and it's transparent. So it looks like water has no color. So from all this, we conclude that water is colorless. So we've learned that water comes in three forms, that is solid, liquid and gas. And we've also learned that water is colorless. Now, let's learn if water has any shape. What happens when we put water in this glass? Well, did you see? Water takes the shape of this glass. Let's put it in this tall glass and see what happens. When we pour water in this tall glass, water takes the shape of this glass. Let's try putting it in this bowl. Now, water has taken the shape of the bowl. Let's try putting it in this flat dish. Well, did you see? Water has taken the plate, taken the shape of this flat dish. And this small bowl. Look at this. Now water has taken the shape of this small bowl. So we've understood that water has no shape. It takes the shape of the container. If we put it in a flash, flat dish, it takes the shape of the flat dish. If we put it in a small bowl, it takes the shape of the bowl. Now, let's see what happens when we put something in water. Whether it sinks or whether it floats. 
you must have gone swimming with your parents or with your friends. You have learned to stay afloat. Now let's find out what happens when we put some things in water. Well, here I have a bowl of water. Let's try and put some things inside and see what happens. This is a little turtle. Now when I put this in water, it floats. You see, this is made out of plastic and it's light, so it floats. Now, let me put this duck. Now this is made of rubber. When I put this in water, this also floats. Remember, when you were a child, your parents gave you toys which were made out of plastic and rubber while you had a bath so that it would float. Now, here I have a stone, a pebble. When I put this in water, let's see what happens. Did you see? It sank. So some things float while the stone, when I put this in water, it sank. It went and settled at the bottom because the stone is heavy. Now, I have these keys over here. When I put these keys, did you see? This also sank inside in the water because the stone and the keys are heavy. Heavy things sink in water whereas the light things stay afloat. So students, today we learned that we can see water in three forms that is solid, liquids and gas. We also learned that water does not have color. It is colorless. We also learned that water takes the shape of the container. We also saw that some things sink in water whereas some things float in water. Now, before I end this session, I would like to remind you, I told you in the beginning of the session that water is very important. So students, let's do our bit. We must save water and try and not to waste it. So please remember to turn off the tap when not in use. Thank you.